Hello again, YouTube community. Uh, this is 16mm DJ here with something you might find interesting, hopefully. And, um, well, anyway, here, I'll just go ahead and say it. I, um, found a way to get... Well, I didn't find a way. Somebody explained me a way. But I, I get to say I found it because I found it before you guys. Um, this is a way to get JPEGs to play on your Commodore 64, if you have one. And all you need is your Commodore 64, a monitor or a screen of some type, a uh, uh, data set, sorry, and a blank cassette tape. Doesn't really matter what type it is. You also need a computer that has a sound card, like they actually make computers without those anymore. Still, stuff, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you'll need a computer with sound card, a couple of programs, which I'll show you later in this video. And uh, that's about it. So what I'm going to show you is a JPEG played on the Commodore 64. So I'm going to go ahead and boot her up here. It advises that you turn on the screen first because um, the static stuff coming out of that is just no, no bueno. So I'm going to go ahead and type, type a load from this cassette. And this might take a little bit, but press play. And I don't know if I should say something while I'm doing this. Maybe I'll put in some music. Musac. Okay, now I press Commodore. And then, alright, now it says it's ready. I can stop all this reggae nonsense. And then we type R U N, return. And then we watch it do its little loading bar thing. Hopefully, you're not epileptic, so. Here we go. And then we wait for 10 years, yay. And my brother plays his trumpet in the background. Just practice. And here it is. Um, that is a true to life JPEG to a PRG to a .tap file on the Commodore 64. And it's, if you can't really tell, that's all right, I don't blame you because there are they're only 16 colors on this machine. It's my Polaroid SX-70 from the front view, and I'm sorry about this uh, the screen nonsense going on here, but um, next, uh, I, I don't know if, I, th I don't think I'm going to make another video, just keep watching, and I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how I did this. Alright, and here we are back in my, um, in my living room, where um, we are going to be converting the JPEG to a tap file, and um, I got my blank tape here, and a tape recorder set up here, I'll go ahead and slip it into the tape recorder, and then I'm going to give it a little bit of an extra recording space just so it doesn't get the two pictures mixed up or anything so and now what I, the program I'm going to use is called let me find it here it's called gang ed gang ed I don't know how you uh, see right there and you can all touch linked up to it on the video thing but if you open that it will show you a c64 screen and where you, what you can do here is you can go to File, Load, Import PC Image, and then you go to anywhere on your computer where the images are. I think it's actually on the D drive for no particular reason. My documents D, Pictures, um, uh, Photo Assignment 5. I don't really know, I'll just pick a random picture, I think. Let's see. Pick from one for my final four. Let's just do. That's kind of a nice, but it probably won't show up well. Let's just go with this one. And oops, sorry. And then what it'll do is it'll give us a little preview of the actual image right there, the original. And then right here it'll show us what the C64 will make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press OK because that's fine by me. And now it made it on the fake Commodore screen. And now I'm going to press File, Save, as an uh, .prg file, so the next program we use can understand it. So let's just name it, save it on the desktop, and save. And then we can go ahead and close Ganged, and then we can go to our next program, which is called wave-prg. Wave so you open this guy, you're going to want to choose the second one, convert a prg blah 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 to a sound 
or tap or wave. And we'll click on that. Okay. And we're gonna wanna identify that we're gonna save it to the sound card or uh, run it through the sound card. And then we'll press okay. Oh, I should probably get this started. So pause, record, pause, record, play. And then okay, sorry. Click OK, and then I'll click that one, which is the one I wanted to go. And before I click an OK, I'm gonna or open, I'm gonna un, I'm gonna start recording because it's gonna open it straight up, and I'll click open. And then this bar here is showing the progress of how far it's gone. So I already set my levels so that it should be perfect, or somewhat near perfect, and that kind of stuff. And this is kind of a long process because it is. May I remind you setting it to a cassette tape. So, um, as this goes on, oh no, I'll stop it here and then continue where I'm gonna do stuff. Now, after we've gone through that hideous process of seeing it to the tape right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my normal cassette recorder thingy and I'm gonna cue it up to the right spot. Is there anything in this one? Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna cue it up to the right spot in the recording, so it should be oh, oh I didn't go damn it. So uh, I recorded I rewound it basically to the beginning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find the uh let's see. It's gonna be a bit loud by the way. Ah! Okay, now that's good. I can use the indexer to find the next track, play, index, and I know you can't see a thing, but sorry about that. Alright, so it thinks it's found it. Uh, is that really it? Alright. Alright, so it does appear that it has found the track, the second, because I recorded it after that first JPEG, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this guy up again. Sorry, I'm, I'm sort of like doing three things with two hands and it's a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the tape in there, where I queued it up with the cassette recorder, and I'll turn all this stuff off. And then I'm gonna do the load again. Load, it'll automatically load from tape if you press play. And then you wait for 10 years. And then, la da 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 da. We listen to a reggae, reggae music, which is not on at the moment. But, uh, oh, by the way, this video is kind of for Senor Verde, because um, I've been making, oh, so that's found, and then press Commodore. So, um, he, he kind of, we had a little chat, and he, um, R-U-N, return, and I, we've just been talking about this sort of stuff, and uh, so as you can see, it's doing its loading screen again. And uh, Senor Verde, when you watch this, you will be amazed if this actually works. But let's see. Zoom into the screen. Ah, da -da! There we go. Isn't that awesome? So anyway, uh, go do this if you have your Commodore 64, your monitor, and your uh, cassette drive, and your and those two programs, which I'll make sure to throw on the uh, the URL. Uh, not the URL. The uh, more info about this video thing down there I think it is now so um go do this and it's really cool and stuff so thanks for watching on behalf of uh, 16mm DJ and C64 Airlines